what's up guys finally back finally have some results on the build for you i know it's been a long time but i've been real busy <clears throat> and i'll kind of show you guys what i've been up to i've been trying to get this motor in here and this chassis built and i've been working pretty much non-stop every single free time uh that i've got has been going to this car so i apologize for the lack of results but we finally got them but I kind of want to talk about it for a second first because right now it's really hard to get your car in a dyno where I'm at. So this was the only dyno we had available right now. Um, the car made good power. The motor ran great. The thing is the guy at the dyno, um, he didn't want to put a fan in front of the car. For some reason, you know, we hooked up the car. Um, we made a couple passes, and I was like, man, where's the fan? Uh, or we made a couple pulls, and, you know, intake temps started to go up and stuff, and I asked him, I said, hey, can we put a fan in front of the car? The only response I got from the guy was, that would be too difficult, and never got a fan. So after that, I ended up making two more pulls, noticed that intake temps kept rising, and just it kept getting hotter so called it a day um was kind of disappointed with the gentleman who ran the dyno but other than that everything went pretty well um a couple things i did notice after i got back is that for some reason with this throttle cable bracket i was not getting full throttle so there is still in there and also um the guy uh i let i did all the tuning but I let the guy who ran the dyno do the pulls. He was only revving the car to 8,000 um, when with the setup I have with the cams, the pistons, and I also put the PRB K20A2 oil pump in there. It's perfectly capable of revving to 8,500. And you can see on the dyno graph that it's still making power where he lets off. So the car has more in it. We're gonna go back to the dyno. Um, we're gonna see uh, how much more power we can get out of it. And then once we finish uh, getting the all motor tune all set up, I also have a nitrous setup hooked up in this car. So we're gonna try and shoot for close to maybe about 300 wheel horsepower with the nitrous. But um, yeah, these are the results of the VTEC Killer K20A3 with A2 cams, A2 pistons, and A2 oil pump. Otherwise, pretty much stock besides 70 millimeter eBay throttle body, Megan Racing uh, swap header, a three inch exhaust, and a three inch intake. Other than that, pretty much a stock motor. Um, pretty happy with the numbers, but I know we're gonna go back and definitely make some more power on top of this. Hope you guys like the video today.
We're a little rich in the beginning, it looks like. 181. those waves so So I wanted to give you guys a little bit closer look at the motor and everything and how it's set up in here on the swap. I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the car too. Pretty much stripped every single thing I could out of it. Sound deadening, everything. Got the cage in there. Nitrous bottle in the back. So there it is, 193 wheel horsepower is the most power we made uh, that day. Uh, we'll go back, we'll make some more power, but I really hope you guys like what you saw today, and as always, hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching.